it can't be time to make a video now. All right, well, let's do it. Hello, my YouTube friends. Have you ever wanted to create a video or a live stream as a panda? Or maybe an alien is more your scene. You could do it as a cartoon or as a grumpy old man, which some of you already think I am. No matter which character you decide to be, Streamfog can make it happen. But dude, like it used to be with Streamfog, you had to create all this stuff and add-ons and it only works in OBS. But not anymore. Now, Streamfog can work in any application that uses a camera. I'm gonna show you how it works today. You're gonna love it. So you know what? Let's get to it! Oh, it looks like I'm on vacation, but, well, I'm on vacation, but I'm still working. See, my videos are working for me on a 24 seven live stream right now. Let me tell you about it. Just log into Upstream. You're gonna go ahead and click on your media library. You can create a folder if you want. You go over here and you upload files. You just drop your files in here and they're gonna upload for you. Once you do that, you can just create a new stream. And inside that stream, you're just gonna add the videos that you already uploaded. You can take these videos and put them in any order that you want, move them around and adjust them. You can set your settings over here for things like when you want ads to run and stuff like that. And pretty much once you're done, you can come up here, click start stream, and you are live streaming 24 seven. It's really that easy. And if you want to go even farther, you can come over here to stream designer and add all kinds of little flourishes that will just add something extra to the stream. Now, the thing I love most about upstream and 24 hour live streaming is it gives me the ability to repurpose old content and give it a new life. But the second best thing is that anytime, day or night, I can pop into that live stream and have a conversation with my audience. And that is always really cool. So if you ever wanted to try out 24 hour live streaming, there is a link in the description to check out Upstream. Thank you Upstream for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the content. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Streamfog, it's an application that allows you to change your face and do so much more. Previously, it only worked with OBS, but I'm going to take a quick second and show you what Streamfog is or was and how to get into their virtual camera now that will allow you to use Streamfog in any application that uses a camera. So Zoom or Restream or StreamYard or EVMUX or anything you want, Prism Live Studio, any application that uses a camera We'll be able to use Streamfog and it's really, really easy to set up. So for those of you who are new, let me hop in and show you how to set up and find lenses and things like that. And then I'll show you how to set up the actual virtual camera. So this is what it looks like once you set up. You're going to have your Twitch profile right here. If you don't have a Twitch profile, doesn't matter. Just create one. They're free. Really easy. Create a Twitch profile you're going to have a dashboard. Now your dashboard, when you first come in here, is going to be empty. So you got to find some lenses. And you just go to the AR lens thing and it shows you what each lens will kind of look like. And you just click the plus and it will add those lenses over here to your dashboard. Now they also have a really cool thing called AR animations. And there are busloads of different games that relate to specific animations. And you can also create your own AR animations which I show you how to do in another video. Now you can download a plugin that allows you to assign hotkeys to every one of the lenses and the AR animations so you can integrate them into pretty much any of your alerts or any user assigned things or whatever you want to do on your stream. You can integrate the AR animations and the lenses and it will work with that just with the hotkeys. So the long and short of it is, once you pick out the lenses and you have your AR animations all set up, all you have to do is click on it and it's going to go ahead and change that lens on your face. Or you can also use the application that assigns the hotkeys, which is this one right here. So it's super easy to get in here and set up, but the way that you had to set this up the old way, you needed to go through the setup guide and you have to modify your OBS shortcut and all that sort of stuff. And it only worked with OBS. Well, there is a link in the description right now that will allow you to download the virtual camera. 
let me show you how to install it, set it up, and use it. All right, so now that we've downloaded it, I'm just gonna double click on here, and we're gonna get this come up on Windows. Just click More Info, Run Anyway, and then uh, Anyone, or whatever, however you have your machine set up. Yes, and it's gonna just ask where to install it. The default's probably fine. And then you can run it here, or just click Finish, whatever you want. Boom. Now we've got the virtual camera up. Now I know this looks overwhelming and there is a lot of information here, but there are a couple of things that you need to take note of. One, welcome to alpha test. That means this is an alpha, it's not even in beta. They're just trying stuff out, making it work, and they're giving you access to help them test it, but also so they can see what you like and you don't like. So be aware, you might have some bugs, but that's okay. Just go on their Discord, talk to them, tell them what's up. They're really good at making sure that they make this what we want it to be. And that's all part of this virtual camera. Everybody wants it, now we're gonna have it. So we're in alpha. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and click register, and then we're gonna click yes. And now we've registered to the system. And so I can go ahead and change this up. Now I know 1920 by 1080 might be a touch buggy right now, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. So the next thing we need to do is get our remote key. Now we can just go over here and then we can log into Twitch. I'm already logged in over here. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna to go to my camera setup and I'm gonna just get my remote secret key right here. I can copy it right there. And I can close this down and go back in the app and I can paste it right here. And then we can start our virtual cam. And now it's running. So let's go ahead and open up some OBS all right, so all we have to do is click the plus, and now instead of having to use the browser source, we can just go into our actual camera. So we're gonna do video capture device, and we'll just call this stream fog. Click OK. And now we just drop this down, and we're gonna see our stream fog virtual cam right here. Boom, we're all set. Now I can add a microphone to this by going down here, and there we go. Now we have a microphone. And we can click OK. And you can see we have this I agree thing here. Now if you do get that click on thing, I got it in 1920 by 1080. Sometimes if you just switch to 720, you don't get the click on thing. Sometimes you just reboot the app and the click on thing never comes up. But be aware, it kind of is an issue with 1920 by 1080 right now. It should be fixed really soon. So you may see it, you may have to restart. Once you restart and it works, it's awesome. Once we have it up and we have the app right here, you know, we've got our virtual camera right here. So we set everything up. But if we log into our app right here, it makes it really easy to just click on any one of these and boom, it changes to whatever we want. It's really simple then once you get in here to just change these around and use the app. And I know a lot of you are like, well, I don't understand. Why is the virtual camera thing so important? If you are not an OBS user, now you're not out of luck. Here we are in Prism and I can click the plus. I can go into video capture device, click okay, and name it whatever I want. And then I can just go here and I can select, you guessed it, StreamFog virtual camera. So now I can set this up. I can go down here. I can capture my audio, click okay, and bada bing, I can use this now in any application. So I can use this in Zoom, I can use it in EV Mux, I can use it in Restream, and I can use it in StreamYard. Anywhere where you add a camera, you can now use it because of this virtual camera app. Now I think StreamFog is freaking awesome. These guys continue to work really hard to bring us really cool stuff for totally free. However, if you wanted something bespoke, well, I'm gonna include a link in the description down below that you can click on and have them make it for you and even get a discount. And if you have any problem with the app, it is in alpha, which means it's not even in beta and they're sharing it with us so we can mess around with it. If you have any questions, if you have any problems, don't get mad, just get Discord, talk to them, let them know what's up, they're working hard to fix it for us. Now, is there something that I didn't explain about Stream Fog well enough in this video? Let me know about it down in the comments. Now, also, if you want a much deeper dive into Stream Fog, 
how it works, and even how to create your own AR animations, well, I have a video for that you could check out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.